this is an introduction for schools to the volume purchasing of iPad apps. Now, a lot of schools have recently begun purchasing iPads, and one of the common questions that's asked is, how do you install apps onto iPads in a school environment? Now, this is an interesting question, because a lot of people have experience of iPads in their own home. In a home environment, installing apps is pretty straightforward. You wirelessly connect to the online app store, you provide your credit card details, make a payment, and download a copy of an app. Now the great thing in a home environment is that by paying once with your credit card, you're able to install that app legally on any phones that you own and any other iPads that you might happen to own. So, in a consumer setting, it's a really nice, easy situation. You pay once for an app and can then install this on many devices. Unfortunately, this model doesn't work so well in a school that might have hundreds or even thousands of devices. It would be lovely if schools could pay once and download an app as many times as they liked. However, this isn't fair on the app developers who deserve to be paid more when their apps are used by many people. So, in a school environment, the rule is, you need a unique license every time you install an app on a device. The good news is that many developers are offering a 50% discount when schools purchase app licenses in bulk. This is called the Volume Purchasing Program. Here's the key thing to know. The app store for the Volume Purchasing Program is completely separate to the one that consumers use. If you already have an account with the normal iTunes store, you cannot use this for Volume Purchasing. You need a completely separate Apple ID, which uses a school email address. The Volume Purchasing Store is accessed using a web browser at deploy.apple.com. You will need to apply for an account and, once your application has been approved, you can start purchasing licenses in bulk. You can do this either with a credit card or store credit that you can buy with a purchase order from your school. Once you have purchased a license for each app and for each device, your school is now safe from the dreaded auditors. But how do you use these licenses to actually get apps onto your school iPads? We'll cover this in our next video, Deploying iPad Apps.